Welcome to Salmon Trumpet Spread. Guys, in this video this evening, we're going to be doing a pocket box review. I'm joined by my awesome brother Brian. And we're going to open this up. Guys, if you haven't checked them out, check them out at mypocketbox.com. Look, I'm, I'm going to say something real quick before we're doing this gear review. Brian can share his thoughts on it too. Is We've been doing, I've been doing these gear review things for two or three years. I know we used to just do one individual gear thing on the channel years ago. We'd be like, hey, this is this thing. You know, I think you started this probably about four or five years ago, brother. I think it's been that long? Yeah. And then we transitioned into me and Brian doing these gear reviews together. And I know that for some people, you know, some people might not get into that type of stuff. But there is things that's in these gear boxes that has changed my mentality on how I prep for certain things. You know, like, I don't know, you don't think about a lot of things that's there. And it's like, I didn't even know this existed, you know. And it might not be what's for one person might not be for another, you know, but it can be a help. I mean, what do you think of that one, man? Well, I agree with that. It's uh, to me, it's it's always good to have things like this around because you can prepare in what you can think about, but you may not be able to think of every full aspect. Like you can't get the broad spectrum mentality. Everyone thinks in a certain way. So when you get this, you might be looking through and back, oh, I never even thought about this. And then you start gearing your mind in another way, making your thought process broader. So that way you can uh, expand your horizon. There you go. Yeah. And a lot of, you know, a lot of, the real last quick thing before we open the box is a lot of people like myself work one, two, three jobs. So you really never have no time to do anything. So it's like keeping forward motion with being prepared, having the things you need. When you cannot dedicate the time to it, it's already been done for you, and, and the money you would have spent on material is already being maximized. So without further ado, let's open up this month's pocket box. And you know what? Who wouldn't want a, a pocket box from Creek Stewart, that tasty man? Everybody love Creek Stewart, you tasty, tasty man. <laughs> and that is our camera help this evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so this one is Flatline, is this month. And... Um, We'll go to the contents list, and so when mo this is what it says on it for this month, okay? Um, if you want to take a look at that real quick, you can pause your video and look at it as we go through this. Is It says, when most people think of survival, the first skills that come to mind typically involve shelter, water, fire, or food. However, in a survival scenario, if a first aid issue is involved, dealing with this is almost always the very first survival priority. First aid knowledge and tools are arguably the most important survival categories and taking time to assemble a dependable and quality first aid kit, a FAC, or an IFAC, individual first aid kit. That's not on here, I'm just trying to point that out. Especially these guys been in the military know that all too well. For your own bug out bag or personal emergency kit is invaluable. The items included in this box will either supplement your existing FAC or jumpstart the process of assembling a new one. And I'd have to agree with that, I mean, you can have all the supplies in the world. You get them jacked up, you go on. And it's a little thing to kill you, too. Not to mention some of the supplies you'll have in your first aid kits, they do have an expiration date. So as you get in new, you can rotate that out. Yeah. Um, all right, brother, I'll go down the list here. I guess we'll just do it one at a time. The first thing we're looking for is a bug out first aid kit back pouch. Um, while Brian's finding, I'll read you some notes on it. Um, when it comes to your next outdoor adventure, your seasonal medical professional, uh, or whether you're a seasoned medical professional, this fact will make a great base kit for your own bug out bag, car, purse, everyday care, etc. Um, everyone's needs is different, and pretty much you can fill this up as you desire. Now this one, uh, I do like this as far as in the environment we're in. This is not tactical side of things where you need to be, uh, in, what do you call it? Like, use discretion. There you go. Yeah. But uh, you don't have to be as discreet about everything. This one's bright red, so if you've got this in your vehicle or in an urban situation, it's easy to find. It's actually marked with a red cross so people can know it's medical. Because if it's you that's down and you're needing help, if they can just find your gear, they can actually help you. It's actually webbed on the back. You've got straps, so you can actually weave those in to attach it to uh, Molly style gear. You've got the D ring, so you can actually use it to hang inside. It actually does a full drop top. You've got the elastic bands where you can put larger kits on one side. You can actually compartmentalize on the back and separate out bandages 
put tourniquets in, uh, however you want to set it up, this is your option, so to speak. Just always know your layout and make sure that the things that are the most urgent, like the more massive the wound, the easier that is to get to. You don't want your band-aid right on top and then a sucking chest wound. You need the, something else and you're trying to dig through everything to get to it. I'd rather dig for a band-aid than for the thing that they've got seconds instead of hours. Right. Um, this is unique and this is what I'm getting at or what me and Brian was sharing back and forth before we started this box. Never would have thought about this. Okay. We both have tons of knives. This ultra short folding ceramic blade emblazoned with the uh, Apocabox logo is the perfect inclusion for your everyday carry. Um, now this right here it says um, that the knife can tackle anything pretty much from cut through galls, bandage materials, to even making a small incision if necessary. Um, they stay sharper, longer, easier to clean, and are extremely lightweight. They are. This is, I, I wouldn't say more than maybe an ounce and a half, two ounces. I have never owned a ceramic blade knife. Well, you do now. I haven't either, but I have heard amazing things about them. If you think about it, you use ceramic to sharpen standard knives for the most part, ceramic rods. So that ought to stay honed in quite easily. I couldn't help but think about that scripture, uh, steel sharpens steel. In, in the new world, they're uh, ceramic sharpening ceramic. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we have our bug out pharmacy case. If you're tuned in for my free webinar series, the ABC's of bug, bug Out Bags, remember when I covered this subject, um, I guess if you follow along with that, this is uh, for pharmaceutical things that need to go in there. Like um, your essential oil capsules, because we all know that pharmaceutical drug sorcery will kill you. Um, so I encourage you to use essential oils instead, and you could put your um, capsules in there, vitamins, I mean, there is some things that people have to have. I understand that. Um, One know. thing you can double as in your emergency fishing supply that can hold all kinds of little fishing tackles. Yep, yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, um, that's pretty cool. I mean, you could actually put small bottles of essential oils down there too. The little, yeah, the uh, little five. What is it? Uh, five five mLs. Yeah, yeah, small ones. You can put a lot. The fives are about that big. I don't know if they fit. No, it's that. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's like two and a half. Two or something. Yeah, tiny. Um, or your veggie caps. Yeah, you can put a lot of veggie caps in there. Um, Miss Amy's helping us with the camera work tonight, everybody. We couldn't do it without. Remember, the person behind the can helps make this happen, okay? Um, next up, we have something that is um, absolutely crucial um, for whenever it's more than a flesh wound. That's a rat's tourniquet. The rapid application tournament system was invented by Jeff Kirkham. Uh, he served 28 years with the U.S. Army Special Forces, active and guard with numerous operational deployments to worldwide posts in both semi-permissive uh, and non-permissive environments. Uh, the RATS is the luxury sports car of tourniquets available in the market today and consists of vulcanized rubber cord that is paired with a durable nylon sheath. It is also contains a locking mechanism for a secure hold. The tourniquet was designed for quick application to self or others. Um, there's a detailed video on that on ratsmedical.com where you can see how to properly use that. That right there can be the, a matter of saving somebody's life, no joke. This is your instructions. I've never used one of these myself, but I'm very intrigued with this. and I'm glad you mentioned that. Go to the website and learn how to use these. A tourniquet is not something you're trying to figure out when it's that time to use it. So I definitely recommend doing that. Always get well versed with all of your gear. Because right now, if his arm was knocked off, he'd be done by the time I learned this thing. And it may just take seconds. But as yeah. you can tell, even unfolding, it's a bit of a struggle. Yeah, medical is not my strong point. Not. You know, I get your lights on, I get your water running, but I can't plug bullet wounds, okay? Just saying. You're gone, you're on my watch. Um, the next thing up, I think anybody, anybody from young child all the way to those that are advanced in years to everybody across the board, whether you live in the city. I have literally almost froze to death once and it was in Alaska that the situation happened. It was the first night we were on a job site. Didn't have right gear. It dropped really quick and it was just a quick change up. The season hadn't completely transitioned yet and it was a snap cold. Um, and I had to borrow one of these just to help add some extra body heat and that's a bivy bag. Um, can absolutely save your life. 
I, I can't overly stress that, and I'm not trying to over dramatize it. Like literally, it's got me out of a pickle one night before because I was literally like shivering. Um, if you don't know the importance of that, especially fighting hypothermia, you, you really need to learn that. That is something that in an everyday bag you should absolutely have in there. Um, it's pouring rain today. What if you got broke down on the side of the road, got out to fix your car, and then you got drowned? And then your clothes got wet and you had to take them off because you either leave them on, you get in a hypothermic condition in the cold, or you either get rid of them and get in a bivy bag. I mean, it's. You this know. one's not just a blanket. This one is actually almost like a sleeping bag. And if I remember correctly, I saw it there. Yeah, 84 yeah, it inches bag. by 36 inches. So three feet in width and 84 inches long. You can get down inside there and hold the top shut if you had to. Don't go to sleep like that, you'll suffocate. That's a lifesaver. Um, you know, you can add, you can add up to like, um, hold on a minute. I think it's sizzling on here too. Yeah, 15 to 20 degrees in cold, uh, in cold emergencies. That's huge. I mean, that's going from like 40 to like 60. Yep. It's going, you know, I mean, that's bringing you way up there. Um, so you're not going to freeze to death because your body can start making its own heat in, in some of that situation. Um, next up, I think this is going to be a big one. Um, is blister prevention tape. Um, my boots, working in the factory building tiny house all the time, gets wonky. Um, one of the things you can do this month is this blister prevention kit. Um, you got, uh, it's designed to stick to skin, stay there, band-aids, mole skin, whatever other blister bandage use will fail um, when you're wet, but this 100% rayon cotton rigid tape was designed for the sports industry and is the perfect addition to your fact. So, just like adding a lot layer of extra skin on you, you know, uh, at the end of the day. Now, this right here reminds me of, uh, the next one reminds me of, what is that movie? What was the guy where that he carried the Bible? He was blind. Book of Eli. Book of Eli. This reminds me of the Book of Eli, does it not, bro? <laughs> yeah. It says, uh, bug out goggles, okay? Uh, when it comes to first aid, it tends to be the eyes. Crab gets in there, okay? Work on a job site all the time. Eye injury is a big thing. These goggles are preventing measure, 100% um, UV protection, and anti-scratch lenses. So, very nice. And these have a solid foam gasket on the inside. That helps prevent, especially during the cold, when that air just cuts in, you can't see nothing, you end up in sand. Any of those situations, that's where these gaskets come in handy. But these are actually vented so they don't fog up on you. Now that may not be as beneficial when you're stuck in a sandy environment. Sand gets everywhere. Uh, but during the cold, fast movements, that's definitely something good. That's why it's an elastic band strap. And when that band flexes, if you watch the glasses, you can see how they change contour. So as you tighten it up, it will hold them in contour to your face. And these bands, from what I can tell, is actually that's a snap-in clip, so they may offer arms to where you can take these bands off and just have regular flip-out arms. That's something I would look into with that company. Um, guys, if you haven't seen this, the new season premieres SOS How to Survive, um, Creek's new TV series. Yeah. Knowledge may save your life one day. All right, we got a... I uh, cannot tell, but I believe, I swear I believe that. Creek. That is a Band-Aid. Is that a Band-Aid? I thought it was a decal. Yeah, it's That's a Band-Aid. Awesome. All right, so if you got cut yourself, at least you can look cool with the <laughs> some cool Band-Aids. All right, now the next thing up, I know Brian will really enjoy this. He will absolutely be wearing this out by tomorrow morning, I can done tell. Yeah. Is a plastic bottle cordage tool. I've seen uh, a YouTube video about this before. Now, not this particular item we're talking about, but how to do cordage out of this stuff. It's crazy what you can do with plastic bottles, not just for cordage, but everything, the way the repurpose on those is. Um, now you can do this from, uh, it's the same situation, you can do it from a two liter, okay? And um, run it through, and it, it shears it off to make you um, your cordage and everything. And you can wrap that up, lashings, the whole nine yards. And what you do is you strap this down it's got a hole all the way through. I would assume that would be so you can attach it as a lanyard to carry right. with you. What you do is you cut the bottom off of a bottle and you'll take it and take a knife and start a tail on that bottom edge where you've cut the, the base of the bottle off. You'll cut you a little bit, maybe about that wide or so. 
but about that long. It's a feeding strip, if you will. You sh shove the bottle down in through this groove right here, and you feed that tail this way. It's even marked with arrows. Right there, drop the bottle. There's an arrow there. Pull this way. Run that piece through, and you just have this thing tied down on a stump or a limb or whatever. When you do that, you just start pulling, and that bottle will rotate. It's best if you have two hands, so when that's fastened down, you pull with one, add pressure with this one, and that way you get consistent width on your cordage. So as it comes out, two liter bottle will give you probably 40, 50 feet, and depending on the diameter, like how big, how wide you cut it. And you cut that into even lengths, and then you can braid them together, or you can use them as single strand lashing. So options are just about endless with that. And for those that uh, got the box, and those that didn't get the box, if you want to check it out, it's at mypocketbox.com forward slash stringamajig. That's string, uh, M-A, jig. So guys, that's pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't care if you spent a fortune on first aid supplies. I don't think you can never have enough stuff put back. Um, essential oils, bandages, um, you know, the basic, uh, basic first aid, um, from everything from small scalpel to uh, heck, I, even IV fluid, um, syringe, the whole nine yards, everything you can think of, mini hospital. I just don't think a man could have enough of it put back because hey, if you don't get jacked up when the stuff starts, whether it's seven trumpets revelation, whether it's your car breaks down, you needed to get warm from freezing to death, you never know what life's gonna throw at you and I don't think you can never be too prepared for medical situations. Actually, on this right here, uh, I did say lashing it down. I was looking at those instructions. They actually show them you can also take it and just hold this in your hand and push down with it while pulling that. You just drop the bottle down on the stick or whatever. Yeah, uh, these do have a razor blade in them. You can actually remove these screws out. And I'm just looking at the paper a little bit because I like to learn a little bit about it as we go. But you can see the razor blade in this cutaway image. You take the screws out and you can actually change out your blades or whatever you need to do with it. So that's, that's pretty versatile right there. I mean, even if nothing else, your razor blade craps out and you ain't got another one, you can shove the end of your knife in there if it's good and sharp and pull through it off of that. Yeah. Guys, I hope it, it's been a help to you. I hope you enjoy these gear reviews as do it. I know I enjoy spending time with Brian just learning things together as we go through this. If you haven't checked out a pocket box, link's in the video description below. As always, till we see you again here at the channel, hope you have a most blessed day and... Yahushua and I.